This video is brought to you by Underdog. You can't wait for the fantasy football season to start? Well, that underdog is already here. Start drafting today. Use the code TFN. You'll get 100% of your deposit matched up to $100. Start drafting today. Well, you know what? The, the Big Ten has a history of um, running backs that have been extremely successful in the NFL. And, um, you know, to be added to a list of running backs that at that caliber, um, I mean, it's truly an honor. I, I went out every single week and gave my best, and, you know, that's why I'm in this situation right now. This rookie profile is on Chase Brown, running back out of Illinois. 5'9", 209, ran a 4'4", 3 on a mock draft database. He was mocked in the fourth and fifth round. Prospect notes. Coming out of high school, he was a three-star recruit in college. He was a kick returner. The film showed he caught the ball well. He had very good footwork, can be slippery, has vision, and according to PFF, he had the most explosive runs over 10 yards. The negatives. He didn't do the three cone. I knock all running backs who don't do the three cone. Also, he is a red shirt senior. You have players in this draft two years and some months younger, and that means a lot in running back years. And as a dynasty running back asset, that definitely is a red flag. Also, he did not perform well at the senior bowl, but he bounced back with a great combine. Badges. Chase Brown earned my potential workhorse badge. He earned my leapfrog badge by having the highest vertical of the running backs who participated at the combine and here in my gym rap badge for having the most reps on the bench out of the running backs who participated at the combine. He also was a Dope Walker Award finalist. Fantasy Football Outlook. I like Chase Film. He would be a case study for me because although I put him in my four tier running backs, he actually had the seventh highest pre-draft prospect score. That's higher than everyone's Darlin's prospect, Devon A. Chain, and the most polarizing running back prospect, Zach Evans. Unfortunately, I just didn't feel like he belonged in that tier. So the draft capital will determine his fate. I think he's most likely going to be a backup or a committee back. His best case scenario will be to get fourth round draft capital and go to a spot like the Panthers where he'll have the opportunity to take over the backfield.